Hello Warriors, I welcome you all to Phoenix CDS. These are some tips for the lecturate in the SSB interview. If you are old students, you can skip this as it is repetition in every video. And if you are a new student, you can pause and read these tips which will help you cover the lecturate with ease. Good morning everyone, I am delighted to speak on a remarkable organization that has become a source of national pride for India. ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization. Let me give a brief background of ISRO. Dr. Homi Baba, who was the father of India's atomic program, established in COSPAR, Indian National Committee for Space Research, with Dr. Vikram Sarabhai as its chairman. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai was the founding father of the Indian Space Program. In 1969, ISRO was created and brought under the Department of Space in 1972. The committee took the decision to establish the launching station at Tumba, near Tiruvanthapuram at India's southern tip, a spaceport used to launch rockets. It was chosen as a location because of its proximity to the magnetic equator of the planet. Aryabhat was India's first satellite. Anticipating the remote sensing and communication needs of the future, India concentrated more on practical missions, directly beneficial to the people, instead of manned missions or robotic space explorations. ISRO serves the needs of the country by maintaining one of the largest fleets of the remote sensing, IRS and communication inside satellites in the world. The recent successful landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the moon is one of the most defining moments in India's history. It consolidates its posi position as a space power. India is one of the four countries to accomplish a soft landing on the lunar surface and the first to do so near the moon's south pole. It underlines the resilience, commitment and character of the space agency. There is not one major spacefaring nation that has not encountered spectacular failure, but ISRO has shown tremendous tenacity to overcome setbacks, learn from the failure and bounce back stronger. Next critical phase for ISRO will be its maiden use human spaceflight Kaganyan. The aim is to send astronauts to space and the level of sophistication involved in this mission is huge. Challenges Budget constraints Recent trends underscore financial limitations with budget allocations declining. In the fiscal year 23-24, ISRO received an 8% decrease from the preceding year. Former ISRO chief K. Sivan emphasized on in his words, We need bigger rockets and better system. Frugal engineering is not enough. We need powerful rockets and advanced technology. The increase in private startups is a big boost and due to connection build, public funding can be planned in a, con plan can be planned. In a country where movies collect crores, ISRO 2 will be provided for. The technological demands of space exploration are immense, and failures are an inevitable part of this journey. For instance, the challenges faced during Chandrayaan-2 landing highlighted the complexity of space missions. To address such challenges, ISRO continuously invests in research and development, learning from failures to build a more robust system. An RTI application a few years ago showed that only 2% of the employees were from IITs and NITs. It reveals the depth of India's scientific potential. India's fast-growing space startup segment is sure to attract a lot more talent and funding. More than 150 private entities have approached to date and numbers bound to increase fast. I would like to end by quoting, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. Thank you.